Accurate climate models require precise information on global CO2 cycles. The oceans play an important role here. They act as both CO2 sources and CO2 sinks. Phytoplankton binds CO2 during photosynthesis. In doing so, however, it also excretes glycolic acid, roughly 1 billion tons per year. So far, it was assumed that when marine bacteria metabolize the glycolic acid, a part of the carbon is released as CO2. However, microbiologists at the Max Planck Institute for Terrestrial Microbiology in Marburg have made a discovery. In the course of literature studies, they found a 56-year-old partial description of the beta-hydroxy aspartate cycle in the soil bacterium Paracoccus. This forgotten metabolic pathway suggested greater efficiency in glycolic acid degradation, since carbon might be circulated completely. They searched for associated genes and found a cluster of four, coding for four enzymes. The functions of three of them were already described in the BHA cycle. So, what was the function of the fourth enzyme? The laboratory analysis surprisingly showed that it catalyzes a previously undescribed reaction. A primary amine reduction closes the cycle. Therefore, it could be demonstrated that the BHAC indeed does not release CO2. But what about the ecological significance of this cycle? To answer this question, the Marburg research team joined forces with their colleagues from the Max Planck Institute for Marine Microbiology in Bremen. Samples were taken from the offshore island of Helgoland during several expeditions in order to determine the formation and consumption of glycolic acid during the annual algal bloom. And indeed, the number of gene copies of the BHA cycle's key enzyme correlated with the peaks of the algal bloom. In bacterial metagenome sequences collected in the world's oceans, the BHAC genes appeared 20 times more often than those of the previously assumed degradation process. The BHA cycle is found throughout the world's oceans and is of great importance given the enormous mass and high metabolic rate of microorganisms. The cycle of billions of tons of carbon must, and now can, be recalculated.